Hello and welcome to today's video. Today is update number one for the Roulette Pan Collab series. This is round number six. And so yeah, like I said, update number one, let's just hop in. I have my little list here of my products. So uh, last video I was sick and Bo helped me uh, pick items and talk about them. So I'll finally able to be able to talk a little bit more about products today than I was last time. Number, the first one was number two, an expensive product. And for that, I picked my It By My Pores powder uh, in the pressed kind because this is one that I bought on sale in a 21 Days of Beauty project, but or not a project, a sale, but I, I like the powder, but I never reach for it because it is expensive, which doesn't make any sense. So hopefully you can see, I have not hit goal, which is to hit pan on it, but I, you probably can't see it too well on camera, but I do have a little bit of a dip going like right in here. Maybe photos will show it a little bit better. Um, I'm enjoying this product. I do think that it helps blur like pores. I have pretty enlarged pores right here. And I think that it does a pretty good job of like camouflaging those a little bit. I don't like setting my whole face with it and I don't really have a good reason for it other than <laughs> I prefer a pressed powder for my under eyes and also it's expensive and I don't really, I kind of want to savor it. I know that's kind of ridiculous, but if I ever use this up, and it had to come down to me buying it for full price, I probably wouldn't because it's, I mean, it's like $30 for a pressed powder and I just can't, I can't. Next up is number 16, an overrated product. And for that, I chose this little Nick. This is the Prismatic Eyeshadows. And these are pretty like hyped up a little while back on YouTube. And I remember I picked up like three of them and like two of them broke or just didn't really work that well. And this was the one that I felt like maybe I can make it work. But honestly, it's so lackluster. I think it's supposed to be a shimmer and it just, I don't know if you can tell, like it doesn't really work as a shimmer. It just doesn't have a lot of like, it's more of a satin in my opinion. So, um, Bo last video made, or <laughs> he said, what is this? Uh, <laughs> and I think he said it was a blush and I think people had a good laugh in the comments, but honestly, that's how I've been using it. I'm actually wearing it today as a blush. So the irony is not lost on me that he was kind of right, but um, hopefully you can see I have not hit pan on it yet, which is my goal, but I do have a little bit of a dip going over here and I'm going to continue to use this. I'm much, I do use it in my eyes occasionally, like in my crease and all over, but honestly, it's, it's not a great eyeshadow. I'll be glad when I hit pan on it and roll it out of this project, but I much prefer, prefer it as a blush. Next up is number 23, a collab product. And for that, I have my Pure the Grinch palette. And as you can see here, my goal is to hit pan in either the highlight shade or the, um, there's like a one nice transition shade in the palette. And I did that today. I hope you can see that. I'm so excited to roll this out and get to pick another product to put in this project because yeah, I, I said I wanted to hit pan on one of those two products. Those were the ones I was using a lot. I've used these so much. And I, honestly, I'm surprised that the highlight doesn't have more of a dip in it because that it's the only highlight I've been wearing all month. So um, we did get to, we did hit goal on that. We're gonna roll an, another item in. But number 25 is the next one and it is a subscription box item. And for that, I chose this little Smashbox primer. And hopefully you can see there's quite a window here and yeah, we're making some progress on this. I'm so shocked that I can't finish something like this small in a month. There's, it makes me realize why I'm, why I'm so bad at uh, painting primers because I swear I use a primer every day and I don't understand why I don't go the, through them quicker, but same with this guy. And actually, since it's clear, I'm actually able to see how much primer I use in a day or in a week or in a month. And I'm, I'm kind of just shocked that I don't go through these quicker, but I don't. So it is what it is. Number 26 is a special item or item special to me. And for that, I picked my absolute favorite lipstick. And this guy is taking a beating. He's starting to like, I don't know if you can see it over here. He's starting to break at the base, which I'm really sad about. I think that Sweden, Sweden didn't really get that hot summer but it did have like two days um, where it got above 80 degrees and there's no air conditioning here so I, I did not the first time put some of my softer lipsticks into my fridge and I should have because I think that's the culprit of this but my goal is to hit the top of the B here on this lipstick and I'm so very close I'm I haven't done it yet though so I think by next update I will have that done I am wearing this lipstick today I think it's my perfect nude I love it this is by Beauty's Caramel by the way and yeah such a good lipstick I love this formula so much 
And then the last product to update you on is number 27, a deluxe size product, I think, yeah. And this was my birthday gift from Ulta this year, the Hula Bronzer, and hopefully you can see that my goal is to paint on it, and I have not done that, but I am wearing away that Hula stamp on there pretty well, and so I think that it will probably take me a good while, but I feel good about the progress that I'm making. It's the only bronzer I'm using right now. I really like it, actually. I um, I hadn't really tried the Hula bronzer too often before that, before this project, so I'm, I, I enjoy the color of it. It blends really well. Um, so it might be one that lasts the entire project, but I am enjoying it at the very least. Okay, let's pick a number. I have a random number generator here from Google, and I'm gonna put one to 25 in because I think I have roughly about 25 categories that have not been worked on yet. So let's go ahead and see number six. And for number six, we have something that was a gift. So I'm gonna pause the camera, think about it, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back with number six, which is a product that was a gift. And for that, I'm choosing my Winter Candy Apple Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. This was a gift from my sister-in-law last Christmas, I believe. Maybe last Christmas, maybe the Christmas before that. I actually can't remember. And so, yeah, this is where we are. Let's see. I think I, could, I will mark it pretty soon after this video is filmed. But we're right in here, like about middle of this white label. So, yeah. My goal is to use this up. I'm nervous that that won't happen by the end of this project, but at the same time, I think it's a good goal to set. It's a great fragrance going into winter or the end of fall and winter. I mean, it literally does smell like sweet candied apples. So this will be what I'm gonna work on for the remainder of this project, and it will probably be in until the very last bit. So wish me luck on this. Make sure to say hello in the comments, and I will see you in the next one.